Chainsaw Man chapter 123, Asa versus the Falling Devil. Alright guys, so I was able to get my computer back up and running, so I will be making more videos now. Um, but yeah, with that said, yeah dude, this was a pretty awesome chapter. A lot of people were assuming that this was the Death Devil because, you know, obviously people were dying last chapter and it kind of like made it seem like it was going to be. But instead, this is the Falling Devil. So that's pretty interesting. <clears throat> But the most interesting part about this chapter is, so the falling devil says that she is a represent, representative who is representing hell or something like that. I, I forget exactly, you know, her words, but she says something about, um, okay, here it is. I am visiting at the request of the res residents of hell. Which, I was under the impression that hell no longer existed because at the end of part one of Chainsaw Man, near the end at least, uh, Chainsaw Man ate the hell devil. Therefore, the concept of hell should not exist. Right? Because that's the ability of Chainsaw Man. So the fact that, like, that's not what happened... It like makes me very curious as to like the ending of the chapter where we see the doors of hell opening and people are falling into the sky going into hell because if we know from part one that those doors will more than likely lead to the doors of hell because the sky and hell are doors well you know the sky uh, doors are appearing in the sky of obviously this is not how they entered hell the first time like dingy and his friends uh this is a different way so maybe they could be going somewhere else but like i highly doubt it just because like just the way it was done it just leads me to believe that they are sucking up asa and a bunch of other people into hell and i'm very curious about that because again didn't Dingy eat the, not Dingy, but Chainsaw Man eat the Hell Devil? So, Hell should not exist. Like, that is why I thought that all these devils are now appearing on Earth, like Nayuta. Nayuta would, should have, is the control devil, right? The control devil died. Therefore, it should be reincarnated into Hell and then come back to Earth. But that's not how it happened. Nayuta was reincarnated in China immediately, right after Makima's death, right? She reincarnated on Earth because hell no longer exists because Chainsaw Man ate hell. That's why we are seeing the Bat Devil. That's why we are seeing the Infinity Devil. All of them reincarnated back on Earth, not into hell because hell does not exist. But this chapter is showing that hell still exists. So, am I off on that? Like, did he not eat the hell devil in part one? Like, I'm pretty sure that was like a major plot point in part one. But, aside from that, um, we do get the falling devil, her ability not only is to dress up like a chef, which is hilarious, um, but also she can make you live uh, live your past traumas, right? Relive your past traumas. And we get this scene where Asa, you know, had a cat back when she lived at the orphanage because we already know that her parents were killed by a devil. And so that is why she initially hates devils and hates Chainsaw Man because he's like the most famous devil. And um, I thought this was pretty interesting because like she's all about cats, right? And it's always seems like, I don't know if it's like a trend for like Denji because Denji is like all about dogs, but he's always like ends up getting partnered with someone who's all about cats, like power. And now part two is all about the relationship between Denji and Asa, who Asa is also all about cats. So I think that's like really cool, just symbolism um, that, you know, she had a cat when she was younger, back when she lived at the orphanage, but the lady who ran the orphanage, the, you know, mother of the orphanage, uh, she drowned the cat because she believes that, you know, nobody here has a family, so you shouldn't either. So that's super dark, and I'm wondering if it's just because, like, 
that lady is like obviously a horrible person or is it because she was possessed by a devil because we do get this panel where you know when she says everyone here lost their family you shouldn't you know have a family member either in the middle there's a panel where she's fading back into the darkness and you only see her nose and lips now fujimoto usually uses panels like that to kind of show like the transformation from their human form to their devil form right usually he like does that type of like oh like i'm gonna fade into the darkness and then i'm gonna you know you're gonna see my true body i'm actually like a giant zombie demon or something like that like that's usually how fujimoto would do something like that but the backstory actually cuts off right before we see anything else so i'm really curious if later on we're gonna get a continuation of that backstory and actually see that the mother of the orphanage was possessed by some sort of devil and that is why maybe the fairness devil because she does talk about that it's unfair for you to you know have a pet because nobody here has a pet so i wonder if it's like the um fairness devil or the unfairness devil or something like that but nonetheless um we see this incredible panel of the city upside down and also falling into the sky and then that is when you know brings us back around to what i started with at the beginning of the video where people are falling into the doors of hell in the sky the concept of itself is crazy but again this is chainsaw man fujimoto has a wacky mind and so you can expect stuff like that in chainsaw man um but again I really hope this is more explored and this isn't something that Fujimoto is just leaving up to the readers to figure out because I don't know man I was very very under the impression that Chainsaw Man ate the hell devil like I'm like 99% sure he ate the hell devil in part one so the concept of hell should not exist that is why all these devils are reincarnating back onto earth because that is what they said in part one is when a um when a devil dies they will reincarnate back onto earth that is how you know until somebody i forget how they get back to earth they reincarnated on did i say that wrong okay so they're supposed to reincarnate back into hell until they make a contract with somebody and that's how they get to earth or something i forget exactly how it's explained in part one you guys can go back and read it and let me know um because again i swear that when dingy fought the hell devil he ate the hell devil you know what i mean and there's a panel where he goes into the doors of hell and he comes back and he's eating all kinds of monsters, including the Hell Devil, right? Like, am I mistaken on that? And he's even like holding one of the arms of the Hell Devil, eating it like a chicken wing or something. I don't know. I remember something like that. So maybe I'll have to go back and read. But yeah, dude, I hope Fujimoto um, kind of expands on that and like lets us know exactly what is happening. Because why would the Control Devil not reincarnate back into Hell? She reincarnated back into Nayuta, who is in China, who is already on Earth. The control devil shouldn't be able to do that. The, re the control devil should have reincarnated into hell first, and then later on, take control of Nayuta's body, right? Unless that's what happened. Maybe there was like a time skip or whatever, but I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm off on that. But again, uh, yeah, I have nothing else to add to this other than I love the design of the falling devil. The fact that it's a chef is hilarious because, I mean, there's not a reason for it. <laughs> it's just like, you know, one of those wacky things. And um, yeah, the fact that her ability allows you to relive your past trauma, which is really nice because it gave us more backstory in Asa and the backstory didn't feel forced because the way it was set up was, oh no, this character's power is to make you relive your past memories. And so it's like, okay, that actually makes sense for the sake of the story. And also um, the whole idea of falling into the sky, into the doors in hell, which therefore hell also has doors on the sky. So now they're, they're, they're going to, they're gonna they're gonna go from the ground of earth fall into the sky go into hell then go from the sky and fall down to the ground of hell like it's just like the concept is so crazy so i just love it man i chainsaw man so good and i'm so glad that i was able to fix my computer and i will be back to making plenty of more videos for you guys
Bye, have a beautiful time.